This is an unstable atom. Imagine a world where atoms have their own version of magic, numbers that make them exceptionally stable. Let's delve into the fascinating realm of nuclear physics to uncover the secrets behind the magic numbers in physics. When we talk about nuclear physics, we look at the nuclei of an atom. Nuclei contains nucleons. The amount of nucleons dictates the stability of an atom. But why do certain elements in the universe seem to have a special affinity for stability? Because of the magic numbers. 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82, and 126. If any element has these numbers of nucleons, then that nuclei is said to be a magic nuclei. Now, these nuclei are exceptionally stable, a fact that no theory could explain back then the mystery of these numbers until Maria Mayer created a shell model. You may have heard about the shell model like what physicists did in describing an atom structure. Well, it's pretty close to that. The nuclear shell model is similar to the shell model of the atom. Like electrons, nucleons also have shells and subshells and each nucleon occupies a well-defined energy level. This is the quanta. The quanta in the shell model refer to the quantized energy levels or shells that nucleons occupy within a nucleus. Based on the quanta per orbit, the magic numbers are pretty different. It becomes 2, 8, 20, 40, 70, and 112. As you can see, the first three magics are in agreement, but the consecutive hires are not. How did this happen? We consider that in actual potential states, equal quanta but different angular momentum result in varying energy levels. This leads to the existence of shell groups with significant energy gaps, preventing accurate prediction of magic numbers beyond 20. But it does not mean that the model is completely wrong. There is a missing piece. And this is the spin-orbit coupling. The spin and the orbital motion of the nucleons makes it a magnet. These two magnetic moments can interact or couple, represented by this formula. And this interaction causes energy level splitting, which pertains to the parallel and antiparallel movement in the orbit. The gap of some subshells in the spin-orbit terms from the same shell are particularly large. So the subshells close to each other in the said term, regardless of the shell where they came from, binds to form a closed shell nucleus. And this is when the magic number appears. The shells for protons and for neutrons are independent of each other. Looking at this graph shows double magic nuclei. Oxygen has 8 protons and 8 neutrons, which makes it a double magic nuclei, as well as an isotope TED-208 with 126 neutrons and 82 protons. Magic number is one way of viewing the lens of nuclear physics. It is like the fundamental basis of architecture but it is focused rather on stability and structure. Atoms, Atoms are practically everywhere and can never be excluded in the journey of physics. And who knows, perhaps there is magic within your hands.